We are going to take a quick look at one of my favorite features of the new Artmatic Voyager 3 and Artmatic Designer 6, which is live communication between the two apps. Before you start a session, I recommend that you launch both of the apps. If you've got a multi-monitor setup, it's really nice to have the window for the two apps on different monitors to give you the most working space. Let's go back to Artmatic Voyager and open a file. The technique I'm going to show you will work for editing any type of Artmatic element, whether it's an object, a sky, texture, planet surface. For this example, we are going to be editing a DFRM object. What you want to do is you want to find the edit icon for the element that you want to edit, in this case an object, so I click edit object. It will open that object in Artmatic. And now when I make changes to parameters, we can see how they're going to influence the scene. Now one thing that you'll notice is that so far all of the parameters that I've been editing are locked. It will sometimes be the case that if you edit an unlocked parameter that Voyager may not uh, accurately uh, reflect the change. And if that ever happens, just go ahead and click on the light lock icon and that will make sure they stay in sync. Now there may be times when you want to hide the preview. You can go ahead and click on this button which will hide the preview and you can also make changes without Artmatic Voyager interrupting you when you make the change. This is very handy when the preview window is blocking a part of the tree or if you have a lot of changes that you want to make before you want to see the preview and then you go ahead and click on preview and it will update the preview. Now another handy feature is that when you make a change to the timeline. So for instance, uh, use the interpolate keyframe slider. Artmatic Voyager will adjust its time slider to match. So here we can go ahead and click on this keyframe and Artmatic Voyager will show us the scene at the corresponding time. Click on the last keyframe or change the time this way and you'll notice that the timelines stay in sync. Now the syncing goes from Artmatic back to Artmatic Voyager. It does not go from Artmatic Voyager to Artmatic. Well I mentioned that we can use this for any type of Artmatic element and why don't we go ahead and take a look at that. So we were editing the object. Now let's go ahead and edit the color texture for the planet. I'm not going to say, I'm going to choose not to save the changes. And here is my color texture. That determines the coloring of the, the planet's surface. And there you have it, a quick overview of the Artmatic Voyager, Artmatic Live Communication. It's a great new feature. I hope you'll find it really useful.